Ah, uh, Melissa, you're being naughty again. I love the fact that you enjoy cooking and that you enjoy presenting yourself in such a fanciful way and a fun way. The only thing that didn't work well for me, I'm sorry, is the uh, little intro bit for the ingredients. I would have preferred you actually just standing up and going this, 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 uh, and that would have been better because we would have heard you from the same perspective and there wouldn't have been issues with the volume. But other than that, I can't critique anything bad about this, and it's just to help you build up more than destroy it. Um, for me, I wouldn't be able to eat it for the simple fact that I love Captain Crunch in moderation, but never with French toast. And if anyone actually uses maple syrup for certain and not uh, corn syrup, the maple syrup is sweet enough. My pancreas is already on strike and I'm not eating it. <laughs> And I'm not saying that it's going to taste bad. Actually, I know the taste and I know how it would taste. Um, it'll taste super delicious. But if you want to try something a little bit more healthier, here's my recommendation. Buy yourself 12 grain breads or 12 grain multigrain breads that you can buy at the farmer's market uncut, one loaf. You won't use the whole entire loaf. Of course, you'll do it for how many pieces that you want. And cut each slice about at least one centimeter in thickness. Um, in a bowl, you can prepare uh, a few eggs to beat, depending on how many how many people are going to be eating this. Uh, if you're alone and you want two or three French toast, two to three eggs are sufficient enough. Uh, a little bit of two percent uh, milk for me. It's lactose milk because I am lactose intolerant. Uh, if you want to have some flavor to it, you can either add vanilla extract. A vanilla bean if you have any vanilla beans um, I'm trying to think of what else you could actually use as taste I use cinnamon a sprinkle of cinnamon and I beat everything together with the milk and the eggs and then when I'm ready I actually take the bread and I dunk it until it becomes moist it has to be soaked through because you're going to be cooking the egg inside the bread so you need to put your heat at medium because you don't want to burn it uh, or at least the seven degree uh, the, the dial on seven be careful and don't burn it that's all I recommend I use olive oil whenever I cook um, or a non-stick skillet for this because you will need to be able to flip it once in a while um, it cooks faster if you cut it in smaller pieces so once it's in the pan if you want you can take a spatula and one that will not scratch your pan and actually divot it in an X Create a hash mark, if you will, and then flip it over and then do it again there. And then if you want to separate them in smaller bites, they become uh, quarter bites. You just complete the actual uh, separation of them and then to uh, toss them together. And you put them in the bowl, put some, uh, some uh, maple syrup on them. Or if you prefer to do it the old traditional way where you actually have French toast as is, you can add uh, powdered sugar, you can add uh, strawberries or any other uh, items that you wish. And even for people that love yogurt that want to actually try this, they can just put yogurt on top. No issues. Uh, but the Captain Crunch experience, I'd have to try it once to say that I actually died and went to heaven. Then I'd probably end up in the ER. <laughs> but... Since you decided to present this, I'm going to do something special for you. I'm going to actually present uh, some cookies. Less of a threat for your health and possibly less fattening too, um, which I hope that you'll enjoy, Melissa. Uh, please, oh please, if you don't subscribe to my channel for this particular event, I'll make sure that I send you um, the actual vid once I edit it and I put it up. Please, please have a nice one you're too precious to lose and i'm glad that you're doing this and let the haters say what they wish but this is for you here's your image of the smurfette award for being an awesome woman with a stomach that can uh, actually entice any man or any woman into cooking what a deal have a nice one